Do you ever need to annotate documents for process steps like review, collaborating, or archiving in your office workflows? Image Runner Advanced Desktop has an annotations feature that lets you easily add stamps, text, images, and more to documents, as well as create text callouts and highlight, underline, or strike out text in the document. Additionally, Image Runner Advanced Desktop provides users with the ability to redact text in a document and edit the original text in a document. Furthermore, by saving the document as either a PDF or in Desktop's own IWB format, called IWB Document, you can make sure that your annotations are saved for reference and tracking of changes to support effective document management. Watch, and I'll show you how. Let's review this contract document, a Microsoft Word file. I'll begin by dragging the document over to Desktop's Quick Printing tool and open in Print Settings. It will open in the Canon Image Runner Advanced Desktop Editor. Once this is done, I select the Annotations tab on Desktop's ribbon. A new ribbon for Desktop's annotations will display with the contract showing in its work pane. I select the Format Settings option in the View section of the Annotations ribbon. Format settings for each section of the Annotations ribbon display, and I'll select each option to expand each section. At the top of the window, in the Annotations ribbon, are the various options available for annotating the document. If I want to make a simple text annotation, I select the text icon in the Objects section. I then place the cursor where I want to type my text and key it in. I can move it around. or change the color of the text using the Font Color drop-down menu in the Format Setting field, as well as format the text with options such as Bold and Underline. I could have used a text field instead, or even a call-out comment box. In fact, I see something that deserves a comment, so I'll select the comment icon and select where I want it inserted. A comment box appears and I can then type my comment. I can change the location of the comment box as well as its connector. I can also change the style of the connector. In this example, I will change the style of the arrow to a closed arrow. Next, I'll add a shape. I can make a line, rectangle, or oval. I'll do a rectangle. Notice that the rectangle is just the outline. It's not filled with a solid color, so it does not block any text. Its line and fill can be changed in the Properties field, like the text we added earlier. If I choose a color in the Shape Fill drop-down, the rectangle will be solid and block any text behind it. If I want to append an image file, I select the Insert Image icon, map to the image, and select it. Select Open, and then select where I want it placed in the document. Now let's try a stamp. I can select a text, bitmap, date, digital, or signed digital stamp. I'll attach a date stamp that will show the date of this contract review. First, I select the date format in the date drop-down menu from the stamp section of the annotations ribbon. In this example, I will keep the default format as is. I then select the date stamps icon and then select the area of the document where I would like the date stamp to appear. I can format the date stamp in the date stamp properties in the format settings section. In this example, I will choose to change the date stamp to red. Let's say that I now want the project's address highlighted. Under Text Annotation, I select the Text Highlight key and run the cursor over the desired text. Oh, I should have used green. 
That's okay. Highlighting colors can be changed as long as the field is selected. If I think that some text should be removed, I can select the desired text and select the Strike Through button. Sometimes there's text in a document that I might not want others to see. The Redaction tool can allow me to completely and permanently black out the text. To use this feature, I select the Tools tab on the ribbon. I then select the Redaction button in the Original Page section of the Tools ribbon. A new Redaction ribbon appears. I select the text I would like to redact. and select the Apply button in the Apply section of the Redaction ribbon. A dialog window appears asking me if I'm sure I want to apply this redaction. It is important to note that this operation is permanent and cannot be undone. I select Yes, which redacts the text I selected, and then I select the Exit Redaction button. I return to the Tools ribbon. I can also edit the original text of the document using the Edit Originals feature in the Tools ribbon. To edit the text, I select the Edit Originals button in the Original Page section of the Tools ribbon. A new Edit Original Pages ribbon appears. I then double-click the text I would like to edit. This causes the entire line of the text to be selected. I edit the text as needed and select outside of the editable line to complete the edit. I then select the Exit Edit Originals button in the Close section of the Edit Original Pages ribbon. This brings me back to the Tools ribbon. Now that I have completed annotating, redacting, and editing the document, I want to save the document. I select the File tab and select the Save Menu item. I'm prompted to select a Save Destination. For this example, I will keep Library selected and select OK. I then choose the library where I would like to save the document and select the Save button. Additionally, to make sure these annotations can be referenced in the future, I also want to save this version of the document as a PDF. Again, I will select the File tab and select the Export as PDF menu item. I'm then asked where and how to save the file. I'll place it in the desktop so I'll keep the radio button set for Library and select OK. I make sure that Desktop is selected from the Library section, and I'll give it a name if needed. In this case, I will keep the name it currently has. I then select Save. I now have exported this document as a PDF to my desktop. Now with the power of ImageRunner Advanced Desktop, I have an easy way to add annotations of all kinds to my documents for effective collaborative document management.